So today we're working on a 2001-73 turbo diesel. Uh, the issue was it was getting a P1316 code and it would, when it was having the issue, uh, be a huge power loss. And I found multiple things wrong. Um, first thing you want to do when you start out is unplug your harness connector here and you want to ohm out these terminals here and check your injectors and your glow plugs. The first two pins, front and back, are your glow plugs and the middle pins are your injectors. And then what you have is through this valve cover gasket you actually have an intermediate connector. And if you see the problem on this truck, which is common with these trucks, I think it's 2000 to 2002, um, is where this clip will come undone. And I just pulled this valve cover off. I haven't touched it. And if you'll notice that clip is unplugged. Now watch, I'll push it, push it back in. You see, it's seated back in. Now even then, it didn't really snap into place. And see that? It opens right back up. See, watch, I'll do it again. It just it pushes right out. So nothing's holding that clip in. So what I'm going to do on this truck is replace the valve cover gasket with that intermediate connector. And I'm going to go ahead and replace this whole harness in here. Um, all the I ohmed out all the injectors and the glow plugs uh, on both sides uh, just to check it out. And... Um, they all test out fine. Everything works great. Um, just to avoid this problem in the future, you can do the quarter trick where you trim the head of a quarter off and stick it in there and it helps hold this plug in. Um, I'm not going to deal with that. You know, I need this truck on the road and reliable. So I'm just going to go ahead and replace all this harness and the uh, gasket with the built-in intermediate connector. Um, over here on this side, this injector here was running. Oh, it had uh, intermediate uh, failure over here as well. This connector here was snug when I took the valve cover gasket off. Um, and if you push on it, it pops out as well, but not as bad as the other side. Now, what I found interesting was, is I pulled this connector off and ohmed everything out. And on this injector here, I was getting 10 ohms, which is out of spec. Then I unplugged everything, plugged it back in, and I was getting around 3 ohms, which is in spec. And um, that just goes to show that it had a faulty connection in there. You know, I took it apart, put it back together, and then everything ohmed out fine. So this is just a faulty uh system that Ford has going on here with these clips. Uh, they're supposed to snap in tight and if you push on this, I mean that's how you release it. But if you push on even at the wires at the corner, you can see that connector down there right here in this gap starting to come loose again. What will happen is you, just, you, you build up high resistance when those connections struggle to make a connection. Um, now Here's some spots to look for. Is so you have this wire looming. The wires can chafe here and short out. Uh, chafe here. Now particularly this plug here, which is your main connector here. When this is plugged in to that guy there, which I have pushed out of the way, you can see it be resting on the valve covers or the valve cover on this side. And these wires here will rub on the valve cover. Now you can see right here this black mark where it's been rubbing some. It hasn't rubbed through these wires, but that's a good place to check if you have an issue. And I would recommend getting some type of rubber and put around here and then tape it all up because if it's not doing it now, it's going to do it in the future. And if it's already done it, you need to repair the wire and prevent it from happening again. Um, so that's what the issue is. All you need is um, your multimeter set on ohms. And when you're checking the globe plugs, like I said, it's the first two pins 
on the left and well front and back of this connector and then what you do is you go from ground to each pin for the glow plugs and for the injectors you're putting one terminal on the center pin and you're checking the next two pins next to it forward and back and I don't remember the numbers off the top of my head I'll come in here Yeah, for the glow plugs, you're looking for a reading of less than 2 ohms. And for the injectors, you're looking at a reading of less than 5 ohms. If you're reading anything uh, higher than that, or if you're reading open, which actually on this truck, before I took this valve cover off, uh, the front two um, glow plugs, one here, one in here, um, we're reading open and that was because this connector was unplugged and it must have been unplugged more like on an angle like that where those front two connections uh, were causing the glow plugs to come completely unplugged and um, that connector as it was vibrating and over time I was I was dropping out injectors on this side of the motor because of this clip here so what I'm going to do is, like I said, just replace the gaskets with that intermediate connector and the full harness. Just, just while you're in here, you might as well do it. And it doesn't hurt to do a spot check on all your valves and everything else while you're in here. Um, I mean, it's not super in-depth, but you do have a decent amount of pipe work and things out of the way while you're in here for this you might as well do it while you're in there so that's that if you have any questions let me know thanks